The British say they will release this Iranian oil tanker that was seized just a few weeks ago off the Strait of Gibraltar. They do want to make sure, though, that the vessel is not headed to Syria. That announcement made over the weekend by the British Foreign Secretary, Jeremy Hunt, who added that the release of the tanker would have to be facilitated through the Gibraltar court system. The Iranian ship is suspected of violating EU sanctions by attempting to deliver 2.1 million barrels of light crude oil to Syria. An Iranian government spokesperson said today that Iran suspects the ship will be released. The back and forth statements come after Iran tried to seize a British tanker in the Gulf last week. While the attempt was unsuccessful, it led Britain to raise the security threat level for UK vessels traveling in Iranian waters and on Friday dispatch a warship to the Gulf. As Britain and the United States continue to increase their military presence in the Gulf to ensure the safe passage of vessels, tensions do continue to rise across the region. Iran broke two key commitments in the nuclear deal earlier this month by surpassing the uranium stockpile and enrichment thresholds laid out in the 2015 nuclear agreement. This after the United States pulled out of the deal and reimposed sanctions on Iran. Speaking today, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani said the continued efforts by the United States to pressure Iran have failed. Over the past 14 months, whatever route the Americans went down, whether it was the social route, the political route, or the legal route, it led to their defeat. Now, Iran has promised to break another commitment in the nuclear deal every 60 days unless Europe is able to find a way to ease some of that economic pressure on the country. Meanwhile, the United States says they will continue to pressure the Islamic Republic. Thus, the standoff continues.